people, I'm Jennifer Ziliotto. Last weekend, I had a lovely afternoon picking apples with my family at this beautiful apple orchard, not too far from our house. And I wondered, what am I gonna make with all these delicious apples? We've been eating them every day, but I wanted to share with you one of my favorite apple recipes. My family loves this recipe. It comes out of one of my favorite cookbooks. And I thought, you know what? This is the perfect opportunity to show you how to make apple fritters. So the recipe comes out of my, like I said, one of my favorite cookbooks, Essentials of Classic Italian Cookbook by Marcella Hazan. Every recipe in this book is amazing and they're great um, to make at home because they're easy enough and very much home cooking, like this recipe. So we're going to start with three of the beautiful apples that I got at the um, orchard. I'm going to peel these, I'm gonna core these, and then I'm going to um, cut them in three, three eighth of an inch thickness. So you want to make sure you're choosing an apple that is nice and firm, kind of like a cooking apple, but not too sour. So I've opted to use a Macintosh that we picked the other day. I've got a bowl here and into my bowl, I'm going to add my apple slices. I'm going to add a quarter cup of sugar. I'm going to add two tablespoons of rum. You can use a light rum like I'm using or a dark rum if you prefer, or if you don't really like the taste of rum, then you could add um, a little bit of vanilla. And I'm also going to add a zest of one whole lemon. And then I'm gonna let these apples sit in this to um, marinate for about an hour. These are really very much the kind of apple fritters that you want to eat right away. So they're going to be for our dessert tonight. So now I want to make a batter while my apples are macerating. I've got two thirds of a cup of flour and I'm just going to add a cup of water. And I'm, this just makes a really simple batter. And once those are done, I'm going to dip them in this batter and then I'm going to fry them in oil. Delicious. And that's it. Okay, so basically what I've done is I've pat dry with some paper towel my apple slices and now I'm coating them in the batter. And then as soon as my vegetable oil gets hot enough, which actually I think it is now, I'm just going to gently put these in and let them fry a little bit just a couple minutes on either side and then they are going to become the most delicious little apple fritters as my fritters continue to sizzle away i'm going to actually pause and dry one it's yummy you can see they are nice and golden brown Ooh, the apple inside is really soft hot mm, so good they're sweet mm, delicious you can add a little bit of um icing sugar here on top or just a little regular sugar if you wanted i like them just like this there you go. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. There's lots of recipes on my website if you want to check that out. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and of course for more style ideas, for more inspiration, or just simply to see what I'm up to, you can continue to follow me on Facebook and on Instagram.